Hi, I'm Stacy. I am a certified fitness instructor. Thanks for coming here today. I hope that you will work out with me. I have a chest and back workout for you, superset style. So it's gonna be a good one. You get a lot of bang for your buck with supersets. The way it works is you alternate between two moves, um, three rounds before you move on to the next two moves. So we'll alternate chest and back. It's gonna be good. If you have a bench, um, that's ideal. If you have something else you can use for a bench, like a coffee table or a piano bench, that works as well. And you can even come to the floor for a lot of these. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm gonna start with two different size dumbbells, 12 pounds and eight pounds. So I would say kind of a heavier set for you and then a medium set. And then um, for the last one, if you have a resistance band of any kind, a loop band will work or um, you can have like a long band or a tubing band and you'll just be able to grab it differently. So any kind of resistance band, grab that for, for the end, for the last superset. Are you ready? Three rounds, so let's go. Our first move is a chest press. So we're gonna grab the heavier set of dumbbells, come down to your bench or the floor or whatever you've got. We're gonna keep our palms facing forward if you're not on the floor, you can start a little bit lower right here. If your back is arched a little bit, that's okay. You can still get support. And then you're gonna press all the way up and all the way down, engaging that chest. Let's go. We have 10 reps. There's no break between moves. So after this, we're gonna come right to our back move which is a reverse fly, and we're gonna do it seated. Four, three, two, one. All right, set those down. We're gonna come back to those right after the fly. So reverse fly, you wanna grab the medium set of dumbbells, seated if you can with a hinge, so you wanna lean forward. You can do this standing as well. Slight bend in the elbows, and we're gonna raise and lower. No strain in your neck. Keep that gaze neutral just ahead of you, and let's go for 10. Now, you can always adjust weights. You can feel it. Listen to your body. If you need to go a little bit lighter, adjust. If it feels like it's not a challenge, go a little heavier. Just listen to your body and adjust as needed throughout the workout. Two, one. All right, straight back to that press. Grabbing that other set of dumbbells, coming down. If this transition's too quick, pause the video. Take your time. Ready, let's go. Get me 10, all the way up, all the way down. Now, I feel I could go a little bit heavier. However, I'm filming multiple workouts today, so I'm gonna stay right here. This is about you and your workout, so make sure you feel challenged. Four, three, two, one. Set them down gently. However, you can come up safely. I give myself a little rock, a little rock to come up. All right, lighter set, ready? Hinge forward, let's go. Lift, lower. You wanna lower with control. Don't let that weight try to bring you down with momentum. You're working on the way down as well. Five more. Exhale on that lift. Three. Last one. All right. Round three, let's go. We're moving on to new moves after this. I hope that clap wasn't too loud in the microphone. I have a tendency to clap. Are you ready? Let's go. All the way up, all the way down. I like dumbbells for chest press because you can keep that grip neutral. You're not forcing your wrists in an uncomfortable position. So if they just rotate slightly, that's okay. You wanna to listen to those cues from your body. Four, three, two, one. You can also just set the weights down like this before you get up. 
That's an option as well. Rock yourself up. Let's go. Reverse fly. Last one. Get that hinge. Remember, you can do this standing or you can sit. Slight bend in the elbows. Give me 10. Exhale. Five more. No strain in the neck. Keep it neutral. Gaze just ahead of you. Two. One. All right, you get a little break before we move on. Don't hit any plants. Shake it out, grab some water. I'm gonna tell you what our next two moves are. All right, I'm gonna set these just aside a little bit because we don't need those. We are gonna come to a push-up. You have so many options for push-ups. Now, our reps are gonna vary with push-ups. When you feel like it's the last one you can do with good form, I want you to stop. So you can be on the floor. You wanna spread your fingers out. Elbows come back a little bit at a diagonal. Now you can be on your toes or your knees. Before you drop to your knees, I think a better challenge um, in between the knee push-up and the standing push-up or toe push-up is to elevate the hands a little bit. So if you have a bench or chair or something, you can elevate those hands. And then our other move, our back move is an underhand row. So palms are up, hinge, nice straight line from head to tailbone, and you row, extend. All right, that's our two moves. Now, I'm gonna just move this slightly. Ready? Let's go. Down and up. Now remember, no specific amount of reps here. You wanna keep good form and you just stop when, you're, when you feel you might compromise form. All right, I'm going one more and that's good. My next set is going to be less, that's okay. All right, grab those dumbbells. I'm going back to the 12s here. Use what works for you. All right, hinge, palms up, and let's row it out. Give me 10 here. Exhale as you pull. Five more. Three, two, one. Back to push-ups. Are you ready? We're in it now, we're in the superset, so no breaks. Just as much time as it takes you to transition, that's your break. All right, give me what you got. No set amount of reps. That's a bad one, I need to edit that. Set of reps, oh my gosh, ready, let's go. Oh, hope I remember to edit that out, and if I don't, just know, I was trying to say reps. That's what I was aiming for. Sometimes words get hard. All right, I'm trying two more. One more. Oh, you keep going if you wanna keep going. That's up to you to choose how many you want. Now, coming back to that underhand row, we've got 10. Set number two. Bend in the legs, hinge. Ready, palms up. Give me 10. Oh man. Why can I never just record one workout where I don't say something I regret? <laughs> just one, that's all I want. Three, two, one. Last set of push-ups. You might get one, that's okay. You might get 10. That, I mean, more than me, I'm not going for 10. <sighs> Whatever feels right and you are challenged. Spread those fingers, ready? Let's go. Remember, you don't want wide elbows. Send them back at a diagonal. All right, give me two more. I'm talking to myself here. Oh, you can keep going, you can stop. We're gonna finish that last set of rows. Underhand row, grab that weight. Are you ready? 
ready or not. Give me 10. Let's go. Exhale on the pull. Five. Three. Two. One. Set them down. Now is when you get your longer rest. I don't know why, but I had this feeling like, am I even recording? So as you take your water break, I'm just gonna peek around here. I'm recording. Hallelujah. That was gonna be sad. <laughs> I don't know why I had this feeling. Okay, as you're getting your water, let me show you what we've got. This is a fun one. Um, heavy weights back on your bench or whatever your substitute is. And then you want the medium weights nearby. So we're going heavier for chest and a little bit lighter for back. Oh, you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move my bench back out a little bit. There we go. All right, first move is, I'm just gonna show you without the dumbbells. We've got a rotation, press, and come together. So we're starting, palms almost back, but a little bit towards the body. Press up, rotate, clap those weights together at the top. Just a gentle tap. Rotate back down at the top. I want you to squeeze and engage that chest. Then we have our pullover with the lighter weights. You start at the back. I'm gonna have to move my plant up and down with control. So get ready, get your weights. Got plants to move, do that. We're gonna start with that rotation press. All right, three rounds, palms back, slightly in. Let's go, bring them together. Engage that chest and squeeze. Our exhale is on the rise. So exhale and lower. Press, exhale, lower. That's number five. We're halfway there. Three, two, one. We have this same bench position, so if you can just set those weights down where you can reach them, grab the other set of weights, here's that pullover. If you've got hex weights, press them together, hold that press, slight bend. You don't wanna lock your elbows out, just keep a slight bend, and let's go. Back and lift. You actually get a little bit of chest work here as well, but we're focusing on that back. Squeeze, and we're here for 10. If those weights start to slip apart, squeeze them together. Halfway there, give me five more. No momentum. It can be quick as long as it's controlled. Last three. Two. And one. Switch it out right into it. You can just drop these on either side as well. I think that'll be our easiest pick up drop off option. All right, ready, rotation press, let's go. Tap them in at the top, rotate down, rotate up. Exhale on the press, exhale, inhale. <laughs> Sometimes the music surprises me. I just pick a playlist and I go. All right, four more. Exhale, inhale. Three, two, one. Pull over, set those weights down, change them out. Remember, you can change your mind at any time. You're not married to your first option. You can get heavier weights, lighter weights, adjust as needed. You wanna feel challenged and keep good form. Let's go with that pull over, down and up, down, and up. Here is number five. That means we're halfway there. Five to go. This is our second round, so we have one more round before we're changing moves. Telling you, you get a lot for your time with supersets because you eliminate that rest period and last one, all right, last and final, last and final, that's redundant, 
third and final. Palms in. Give me that rotation press. Let's go. Up. Come down. Now, if you don't have a bench, if you are on the floor or on a coffee table, you'll have a little bit less range of motion. You're going to have to stop right here. That's okay. In fact, you're going to get a little bit more time under tension right here. It's going to be good. It's whatever you have to do. If you are motivated and you look for solutions, oftentimes you can find things around your house that will work in place of equipment you don't have. Two more. This is the last one here. Let's go. And lower slowly. Switch weights. Last pullover. <laughs> Press it together. I bet. All right, let's go. Take it down and up. I bet my double chin is on point as I <laughs> awkwardly switch out those weights, staying down here on the bench. All control, no momentum. That's three. You get a longer break, remember, between new rounds. So as I demo the next moves, you're gonna get a little break. Push yourself, five to go. Don't lock out the elbows, keep that soft bend. Almost there. Three. Come on. Two. One. Oh, set them down. Now, this is a back and chest focused workout. Other muscles are gonna get worked. Is my microphone going? Oh my gosh, I sure hope it's going. All right, we have got, let me see. Oh, this is our last set. It's with the band. So grab your band. Any style of resistance band will work. I'm just gonna move my bench a little bit out of the way. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit on my bench. This is all upper body, so you can sit if you want to. Now, if you have a long band or a tubing band, then instead of grabbing it inside, you're just gonna hold onto it right here like this. Okay, so here's our two moves small but mighty. We have a chest press out right in front. You really use muscle and control. It's not big. I've got a heavy resistance band. So you want to go heavy if you can. Press out. And then for our back move, you're going to come all the way up. Same thing. If you've got a long band, you just grab it here. If you've got the loop band, you hold it on the inside. You pull to one shoulder and then the other. All right. Now these chest presses are small. So we've got 20, not 10. All right. Two counts for one rep. You ready? Let's go. Out, out, in with control. They're small. Don't let that band snap you in. You wanna resist it. Feel your muscles engage, like you're flexing. All right, 10, nine, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Right up to those shoulder pulls. Let's go. Right and left equals one, so that's one. We've got 10. You wanna come back like you're trying to tap your shoulder. All right, back, back. That's it. Five, four, three, Last one here. All right, coming to that chest press. Adjust your clothes if needed. <laughs> All right. I guess it doesn't matter which way the band is. Let's go. Out, out. Two pulls equals one rep. So 20 here. 20 small pulls, 10 doubles, however you want to look at it. Whoo! Let's go. This is set two, eight, seven. Come on, this is our last super set. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Bring it up, shoulder pull, go. It can be quick, but you want control. You're in charge of that band. That's five, halfway there. Three, two, 
one, one more to go. All right, you ready? Bring it out front. Let's go, press, press with control. It doesn't have to be big. Last and final round and superset. So we are done after this. Oh my goodness. Yes, you can. We can do this. We're in it together. Seven, six, five, two, one. Shoulder pull. This is it right here. Left and right equals one. Oh my goodness. Five. Three. We are so close. Two. One. You made it. Oh my goodness. Give your arms a little stretch. Roll it out. Shake it out. Great job. Thanks for working out with me today. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It's a great way to support me so that I can continue to share free workouts with you. And then also you're going to get that notification every single time I share a workout. So it's like a little accountability partner. You'll get that notification. Hey, here's a new workout for you. <laughs> and always feel free to comment and let me know what type of workouts you'd like to see more of. Have a great day.